In this lesson, we're going to learn how to convert a percentage like 24% to a decimal. So what you do is, remember when we looked at how to convert percentages to common fractions, we said that all you do is you just say 24 over 100. Now, when you divide a number with 100, you see how there's two zeros? All that it means is that you are going to take this number, and wherever you see the decimal, where do you see the decimal? Well, there isn't one in this case. So if you don't see one, just pretend that it's at the back. And then you're going to move the decimal two places to the left. One, two. And then you would put your decimal there. Whoops. You'd put your decimal there. So you end up with an answer that looks like this. But then remember, you don't want to leave this empty in the front. And so you put a zero. So we've learned that in earlier lessons, that when you divide with 100, you move the decimal two places left. Don't believe me? Well, remember we had this slide over here in one of our earlier chapters. And what we said here was that when you divide numbers, you move the decimal left. When you multiply numbers, you move the decimal right. So what I just said was 24% is the same as 24 over 100. And so here we are actually dividing with 100. And when you divide with 100, we said that the decimal will go two places to the left. So I took the number 24. I can't see the decimal. When that happens, it's at the back. And then I just moved it two places to the left. And then I got that over there. And then I just put a zero. So for the rest of this lesson, we're just going to practice a whole bunch of these. We're going to do some interesting ones, though, that have decimals inside the percentage as well. And yeah, some interesting ones coming up. So 24. Oh, yes, we've already done that one. Here's 136%. So step one, just say 136 over 100. And now, because we have two zeros, we'll be dividing by 100. You take the decimal and you move it two places. So if you can't see the decimal, Remember, it's at the back then, and then you're going to move it two places, and then you're going to put your decimal there. And so there is your answer, 1,36. This one is um, 51,2, so you write it over 100, and then you move the decimal two places. So here it is here, and you go 1, 2. So you end up with that over there, but then you never want to leave the beginning empty like that. Whoops, let's write that a bit better. And so there we have it. 5% is the same as 5 over 100. Here's your decimal over here. And so you're going to move it two places. So it's going to be 1, 2. And then you're going to put your decimal over there. So what we now have is something that looks like this. And so let's just get rid of all of that, actually. And so now you, you fill in the empty little bucket with a 0. And so that's what you have. And then you never want to leave this in front of the decimal empty, and so you would have that. 78% is the same as 78 over 100. Then because you're dividing with 100, you move the decimal two places, and so it goes one, two, and so you put your decimal there, and then you never want to leave the front empty, and so you just put in a zero. Here's our last example. So here we're going to say 652,4 over 100. And then because we're dividing with 100, there's two zeros, so we move the decimal place two, one, two, put the decimal there, and so you end up with 